Oh boy, these two episodes. You know, reviewing one of the one of these episodes in a separate video just isn't enough, and for me personally, thinking about these two episodes now, considering that they're from a good season from a cartoon, is really saying something, considering that the good aspects from Spongebob were obviously from the first three seasons when it comes to Jimmy Neutron's. Well, it has three seasons considering that it got cancelled due to the Ant Bully, even though that I have mixed opinions on that after making a video involving that two months ago. Maybe there's a reason onto why the people at Jimmy Neutron has been making inspirations by seeing what Spongebob did right and knowing full well that they were planning to make seasons 4 a lot more serious in comparisons to the Oreo seasons. They really didn't know what to do with the characters most of the time in the last season to the point that they had to resort on making an episode involving I'm with Stupid but at the same time a lot more dumbed down and even more stupid. I know Dumb Down and Stupid are mainly the same things, but at the same time, the memes involving Carl Weasel isn't going to save this episode. If anything, every time I see the memes involving Carl Weasel, it kind of works, but at the same time, there's a difference on there's a difference on doing too much, and too much can instantly make an episode really dreadful to sit through. But let's get into the Spongebob episode. In I'm With Stupid, Patrick is stressed out because the following day is Starfish Day where his parents are coming to visit and he wants to prove to his parents that he isn't stupid. And judging of how the first minutes of this episode actually works out for the episode's favor considering that Patrick is stupid, it kind of makes sense for Spongebob to help out his best friend in order to have him be stupid in front of his parents. But considering that the parents involving Patrick aren't really his parents, and this is literally the only way for conflicts to happen, maybe there's a reason on to why we don't get to see Patrick's actual parents until the end, only to have the Patrick Star Show retconned it by having two different parents, which in all honesty, I'm pretty sure that the people who have been working on this show can't be able to take the wet conning seriously when it's SpongeBob at the end of the, at the end of the day. But it doesn't excuse this episode's poor writing. In Carl Weasel Boy Genius, I'm gonna be really honest with you. This episode's writing is actually worse in comparison to the Spongebob episode, but when it comes to the direction that it's taking, since that this is focusing on a girl rather than parents, since that we've always seen Carl's parents in the past, this episode really felt like a fellow episode that doesn't even try to be a fellow episode. And what I mean by that is the fact that it's focusing too much on the Carl being Carl, and yet at the same time, they went overboard, but they took overboard to a new level. Now the reason on to why Carl is impersonating Jimmy as a boy genius is because he has a pen pal called Elky, who is mostly a redesign from the cow girl character from the cowboy episode. And I'm gonna be really honest with you, if you really think that Patrick's parents are really bad, this character is bad, but at the same time, she is really useless in this, and the main objective of what she does in this entire episode is just being Carl's pen pal and nothing more. And I'm being really honest with you, is that there is more towards this character, but at the same time, since that she doesn't see what is really going on in front of what is really happening right now, then it kind of makes Patrick's parents somewhat easier to go with, but at the same time, I don't want to choose. With the majority of these two episodes focusing on the main character being dumb in front of 
the friends who are supposed to be smaller in front of the people who are coming to visit. I'm gonna be real with you, the Spongebob episode, despite being bad, at the very least actually made sense, but in the Jimmy Neutron episode, it really feels phoned in. Let's be real, like really, really real for a second. What did Kawa expect to happen if Aiki sees all this as a fake for the first time, and the fact that when he told her that Jimmy is his dim with his assistant, how in the heck can she not see the difference on Jimmy noticing how to operate all the stuff that he made while seeing Kawa as the total opposite? Because, like, in the Spongebob episodes, Patrick and Spongebob came up with a plan in order to make Spongebob dumb, in order to make Patrick smarter, which actually worked. But in this, considering that Jimmy, despite being a kid, is still smarter than Carl, and the fact that Carl just isn't, just doesn't know what he's doing, and the fact that he went through so much with Jimmy when it comes to his inventions, shouldn't he at least be aware of what he's doing isn't going to be a good idea to begin with because this is a lot more complicated than impressing your parents. You pretty much knew what I'm going to say involving the Jimmy Neutron episode. Kawa is beyond selfish and really toxic in order to make his plan work out. And believe me when I say this, as the episode continues, it just gets worse and worse to the point that the character that the wires are trying way too hard on in order to make so many memes out of. Mainly the fact that this was around the time when memes weren't a thing. They went overboard. Like really overboard to the point that Carl being out of his mind when it comes to using Jimmy's inventions in order to use them to impress Ike, then I can't believe I'm saying this. If I was in Spongebob's position, if I was forced to, while having the option on what Jimmy is going through in Carl Boy, Weasel Boy Genius, I would pick Spongebob's position. Like, even though that what ends up happening in the episode, when it comes to the final minutes, can easily damage any credibility of what the episode is trying to do, I would still take Spongebob's position because... Considering that Jimmy Neutron made the inventions and just in the fact that Carl is just using Jimmy in order to impress a pen pal, it's way more stupid and a lot more dumb to take the wicks in comparison to, a, to humiliate yourself in front of parents from a best friend. Mainly the parents that raise a best friend even though that, that even though that those parents didn't raise that best friend of yours, but if that didn't happen in the real world, then I can easily tell that someone will someone will probably make that plot a lot more better than these two episodes. But my point is, every time I think about the Jimmy Neutron episode having the same similarities of the SpongeBob episodes, it really feels like that. With Jimmy Neutron having similarities from the Spongebob episode, mainly having similar plot themes and mostly similar aspects and uh, arrangements, mainly the Dream episode from the Spongebob episode having the same ending and impact as the Clones episode from Jimmy Neutron, it really feels like that Jimmy Neutron really wants to take the popularity that Spongebob had, even though it's not stealing the popularity, mainly taking inspiration from that popularity and make it of its own thing. But let's be real with you. Even though that I'm not a fan of those episodes, especially from Spongebob, especially when I'm discussing the oil seasons, I at least understand on to why people enjoy those aspects from Spongebob the most. So just seeing them being translated into Jimmy Neutron just doesn't really fit well considering that they're changing them a lot more differently and yet at the same time they go way too far in comparison to the Spongebob episode. 
Like, if I really have to talk about everything involving Jimmy Neutron taking Spongebob inspiration from Spongebob, we will be here all day, so I'm gonna keep it to a minimum. But whenever I see anything of what, of what Jimmy Neutron does involving Spongebob related when it comes to inspiration, it just feels like it's trying way too hard, and yet at the same time, it has its own identity that can instantly make itself better in comparison to what Spongebob did best on its own. With the episode focusing way too heavily on Jimmy being a dim-witted assistant in front of Elki, who doesn't see what is really going on in front of her, and, he, and she only has a mindset towards the end, it kind of makes this episode go on autopilot rather than just doing the same methods as what the Spongebob episode did. Because even though that Patrick's fake parents are really terrible in that episode, they weren't on autopilot. At the very least, the ending, despite being the biggest reason onto why I'm with Stupid is terrible, actually made a lot more sense in comparison to the ending from Ness. Let's go talk about Herb and Maggie, Patrick's fake parents in this entire episode. I know people cannot stand these two characters considering of how they were executed towards the final minutes of this, but considering that they actually do more in this in comparison to Elkie from Jimmy, ne Jimmy Neutron, is it really a bad thing that these two characters are slightly better than than Elki, who actually sees what is going on in front of them, rather than Elki? Because believe me, I understand that these two characters are really dreadful to sit through, especially since that Spongebob is trying way too hard to convince them that he's actually smart. Though it doesn't excuse how they're betrayed after Spongebob, after SpongeBob confesses to them, which makes them really hateable, but at the same time, they at least see something in front of what is going on rather than what Elke is seeing what's in front of her. After being launched off to space, which for me personally, the fact that Aiki isn't taking anything seriously after being landed from space, well not really landed, but mainly crashed from space, and the fact that Jimmy was the one who saved her and Carl's life, and just seeing Carl being selfish in front of Jimmy by calling him a mess up, mainly the fact that he actually messed up everything on his plan on taking Elki to space. How is this even possible? I don't care if this is a cartoon, you can't expect me that Aiki is this blind. Like, the incident inside the lab involving Attila the Hun was humorous on its own, and I can instantly tell Aiki not seeing that completely, but that instantly broke after witnessing the whole space incident. Like, I would definitely see the whole problems of what is really going on if I was lied to by being carried into outer space. Seriously. You know there was a lot going on in this one clip alone in comparison to the other clips that you've seen involving Carl taking control of the hover car and him using Jimmy's lab as his own which leads to huge consequences and when it comes to this, this is way more bigger than huge consequences. This is really expert levels that Jimmy would understand. Not would, but at the same time, if he actually handled the situation a lot more better in comparison to Carl. In the Spongebob episode, with Spongebob being the best character in the entire episode, it just makes you think that with him having the mindset of what is really going on and the fact that he's killing on on Patrick and the parents taking it way too far, especially in the final minutes of this, the fact that Jimmy didn't have the audacity to do what Spongebob did just sums up a lot that even though that Jimmy was being selfish in the Jimmy Neutron episode, considering that he calls out Kawa on being the nerd since that he is one, that doesn't change the fact that Kawa impersonating him is something that he is really against. Because believe me, impersonating a person is 
a thing that you shouldn't do no matter what. You may make the argument that Jimmy was being mean though in the final season considering that his attitude is literally getting in the way in front of other characters, but considering that the other characters were rude towards him, it's somewhat justified. And even if you do not like Jimmy Jimmy's character in the third season, keep in mind you can easily tell that you will probably be in his position if someone impersonates you, especially when that someone is your best friend. And the fact that Carl had to lie, this is something you would expect from Patrick to do in the post-movie era. So for me personally, just witnessing Carl like this is really, really unforgiving. And the fact that Jimmy is willing to be with Carl even after this episode, considering that Carl still has a crush on Jimmy's mom, it really makes this episode really worthless than it needed to be. However, at the same time, it doesn't make Patrick's character in I'm With Stupid any better because the fact that he is stupid and he's doing this because he is stupid, then believe me when I say this, even though that that's part of Patrick's character, that doesn't change the fact that it just makes him even more unlikable. People have been making theories on Patrick being intentionally stupid because he's actually smart and he's only using this in order to do things that he can instantly get away with. But believe me when I say this, it only makes his character worse, which is saying something considering that this is season 2 and not from the post movie era. Let me tell you, when I got older and older, Patrick has become a lot more worse, even though that when people have been discussing about this theory and the fact that he's in the fact that he always has a spin-off, does anyone even understand that that only makes him even more hateable? Because when I enjoyed Patrick when I was during my childhood, he was mostly amusing. But that doesn't change the fact that once I saw the post-movie era of episodes, he becomes a lot less likable in comparison to his seasons 1 through 3 counterpart. I know they're the same character, but judging of how these characters have changed in the post-movie era, especially after the post-movie era, it really feels like you can't have a version of Patrick completely, despite the fact that Spongebob has shown when it comes to the fandom having different versions, considering that people see the real version of Spongebob from the earlier seasons, while seeing the versions of Spongebob in the later seasons, the complete opposite. Like, I understand that though, I understand that Spongebob may have the same traits in the later seasons from the oil seasons, but in comparison to Patrick, since that he is really stupid and can't think straightly, it's difficult to see him as a separate character in all of this while it's literally the same character from beginning and end, or the beginning of present since that this show is still going on nowadays, but my point is, is that Patrick is difficult to enjoy when you have all this in mind. And even though that, even as an adult, you can still go back to Spongebob, but for me personally, I'm not one of those people. And the aspects involving theories involving Patrick being intentionally dumb just makes me really more confused on how people enjoy Patrick as a character if they watch all the episodes that we've witnessed, mainly the post-movie era of episodes. In comparison to Carl, even though that in this episode he's terrible, at the very least in episodes before and after, he was somewhat relatable and likable considering that he has disabilities that are a lot more than any other character, like the disability that Patrick has is supposed to be played as a joke, mainly his stupidity, but when it comes to what Kawa has in the majority of Jimmy Neutron, has a variety of jokes, and even though that some jokes don't work, at the very least, the majority of them actually hit well when it comes to how his character is portrayed. And while I understand that people may debate that Spongebob is better than Jimmy Neutron, 
You need to understand that Jimmy Neutron is a different show and the fact that this episode is inspiration from I'm With Stupid is really saying something that Jimmy, the people at Jimmy Neutron loved Spongebob to the point that they wanted to take inspiration from Spongebob. And yet, when it comes to this episode in particular, they went way too far. Tell me, if you're into Spongebob so much that when you're a writer or someone that works on in the studio of Jimmy Neutron, and the fact that you actually convinced the people to greenlit Carl Weasel Boy Genius because of the inspiration from I'm With Stupid, do you really think that that's a good idea? Tell me, the final minutes of I'm With Stupid is really dreadful, but in comparison to Carl Weasel Boy Genius, where the entire episode is a lot more worse, well, it just makes nearly every single character aside from Jimmy really hateable and really difficult to see any relatability in comparison to Patrick, who for some reason is less terrible than Carl Weasel, which is from this episode alone, then believe me, this is basically what Patrick would have been like if he met someone who is intelligent. And for me personally, having an episode focusing on him being intelligent in the Poison movie era is probably a better choice than just replicating of what Jimmy Neutron did. Because if Jimmy Neutron replicates something from Spongebob and Spongebob actually replicates of what Jimmy Neutron did by replicating Spongebob, it really feels like that Spongebob and Jimmy Neutron will probably been close friends when it comes to shows since that they have so many similarities. But at the same time, it doesn't excuse the bad writing and terrible execution of them all. So before we get into the conclusion, let's go talk about the two endings. After Spongebob's breaking point, Patrick learned that his fake parents have different names in comparison to his real parents, which leads him out outrage only for Squidward to tell him that he found his real parents. Which it's been revealed that Patrick's fake parents don't have a son at all. You know, as much as this episode has terrible execution and the fact that Spongebob didn't have closure of his own after dealing with the crap that Patrick and his fake parents went through, I'm gonna be really honest with you, the ending of the Jimmy Neutron episode really makes this ending really sympathetic if you just ignore all the details of what really happened, even though you cannot, but believe me, let's get into the ending of the Jimmy Neutron episode. It's been addressed that Aiki is a ballet dancer, a tennis star player, among other talents that really impress any boy, but in reality, she's been faking it, which reveals to, to her that Carl was faking, but it only made her feel more bad. And for me personally, this would have been a perfect opportunity to see Elke that she is actually seeing things of what is really happening in front of her. It may be a stupid way, but at the same time, it would have actually made the ending a lot more better on leaving Carl alone while learning a lesson on to not impersonate with your best friends. However, that didn't last long since that Elke's main attention is just, is just to get Llama feed since that she is part of a farm. Since that she is a farm girl. And since that Kawa is into Llamas, he showed her that he is part of the Llama Love Society, which Elke is part of. And this ending just sums up a lot onto how Kawa still wins at the end, end of the day just by being really selfish. Like, what Patrick got at the end was our pure luck, even though it may be unjustifiable for how selfish he was, but at the end of the day, it really feels like it's a better ending in comparison to this, considering that Carl still wins, and yet, after this episode, he makes a joke about hanging out with Jimmy's mother, which, for me personally, didn't last long when it's literally the first minute of the following episode, which really makes this entire episode even more worthless. That makes the impersonation of Carl being like Jimmy even more worthless, considering that 
he didn't know what to do the entire time, and when it comes to the ending, he actually knew what to do after learning that Aiki is into llamas like him, and the fact that he's he's just showing her that he's part of a llama love society that would have been a lot more better executed if we actually see Kawa being with a person at his age rather than being into Jimmy's mother. And at this point, the focus and continuity from the third season involving eight characters did work in some aspects, but when it comes to this, it's a perfect indication of how worthless this episode is, which makes it even more worse in comparison to I Am With Stupid. And believe me, just seeing Jimmy not doing much, especially since that, especially since that the truth has always been revealed, I don't even know what to expect. Like, I understand that his main priority would have been cutting ties with his friendship with Carl, but at, at this point, nothing is really possible when it comes to these characters being selfish and just making dumb decisions. That just makes them forget of what they did in the past. And even though they, they do remember events from the past, when it comes to these episodes, since that they're mainly filler, there's a reason there's pretty much a reason on to why Jimmy Utron's fourth season will have been focused on 22 minute 22 minute episodes at most than doing 11 minutes episodes, since that they were going to scrap 11 minutes episodes altogether. So those are my critiques of these two episodes, and this comes to my conclusion. I know I've stated that if I was forced to pick in Spongebob or Jimmy's position, but if I wasn't forced and I had the decision on picking which position, it's neither. Believe me, you will definitely pick neither as the alternative rather than just picking one over the other. Even though that the Jimmy Neutron episode is worse than the Spongebob episode, it doesn't change the fact that what Spongebob went through in I'm With Stupid, it would definitely be an indication of what he would have felt like if he had that personality whenever he hangs out with Patrick in the post-movie era, if he wasn't dumbed down or flanderized badly. If you really think about it for a second and the fact that a cartoon like this has an episode where a best friend is taking advantage over a best friend, but at the same time, his stupidity can go overboard. That is an element that happens as the series progresses that just really makes me question onto how this friendship relationship is considered healthy when the majority of it is mainly toxicity. And believe me, I've seen a lot of toxic relationships from cartoons that Either that is either worse than this or on the same level, but at the same time, it just makes me question onto how, after watching the bad episodes from the post movie era, people would consider this as a good relationship involving SpongeBob and Patrick. Like, in the first three seasons, it kind of works, but as the series continues, it's difficult to actually see that as a healthy relationship. The only upside I've seen involving Carl and Jimmy's relationship despite Carl being the terrible character in this is that at the very least I can see this relationship if you include Sheen as somewhat of a healthy relationship even though that Sheen and Carl is in the same IQ as Patrick but at the same time they were somewhat executed a lot more better and when it comes to the comedic effects it's actually done much more better. I know it's mainly the fact that I'm into Jimmy Neutron more than Spongebob, but believe me when I say this, I've seen a lot of Spongebob during my childhood, and the fact that the more I get older, the more cracks I see, it really shows that Jimmy Neutron, despite having problems, is ahead of its time, but when it takes inspiration from Spongebob instead of being its own thing, it really feels like that this episode is trying to impersonate I'm with Stupid, and yet at the same time, it's doing a lot more terribly, which is somewhat ironic considering that what Kawa did is a lot more worse than what Patrick did, which really gives you the indication that when Jimmy Neutron tries to do something of what SpongeBob is, of what SpongeBob did, and, on, and only doing it much more worse, it kind of shows that 
even in shows like Camp Lazo, when it's being its own thing, can be successful. Being a knockoff involving Spongebob is always going to be a problem, considering of what happens in Spongebob can turn into gold, and when someone tries to replicate that, or try to impersonate that, it would just make themselves even more worse in comparison. Believe me when I say this, there's a reason unto why I do not like Spongebob, and the fact that the knockoffs, even if they can be their own things, just didn't invest me completely, that just makes it difficult for me to find any enjoyment out of. Which really shows that if you take inspiration from, from Spongebob, mainly just impersonate or replicate ideals of it and, t and put them in your own vision, it it's really difficult to accomplish. Like, it's really difficult. And believe me, Spongebob was at a time during its earlier seasons, well, it's at its prime, and yet at the same time it got successful when it comes to the popularity, and I think that the reason on to why Nickelodeon has seized the popularity in Spongebob and just taken ideas from Spongebob and replicate or impersonate those ideas from other cartoons that ended up becoming disasters is mainly the fact that they capitalized comfort, which is what Spongebob was mainly about when it comes to popularity, way too far to the point that it just makes me it just makes it a lot more difficult to see what they're trying to accomplish on being a better studio in comparison to Disney and Cartoon Network. But at this point, Nickelodeon at the end of the day is being its own thing, and for me personally, they're taking a terrible direction. But after witnessing these two episodes, it somewhat answers the question on why they prefer comfort over trying something new, but after witnessing multiple videos involving the studio of Nickelodeon, I think it really goes to show that they're a lot worse than they were in the past. I'm giving Spongebob's I'm With Stupid a 3 out of 10, while Jimmy Neutron's Carl Weasel Boy Genius gets a 1 out of 10. Thank you.